Okay, so moving on to our second example and harder example of the particle in a box um, problem set. Um, now we have n equals 4. And we have two questions. What are the chances of finding an electron at L divided by 2? And what is the probability of finding an electron between 0 and L divided by 16? Um, note that we use chances and probability. It's, it's the same thing. Um, essentially. So uh, your teacher can use uh, either or or something else that convey the same um, meaning. And um, this might be seem intimidating at first because we have L uh, divided by 2 and L divided by 16 which does not correspond to our n equals 4. Usually we're used to getting numbers um, divided by 4. But it's fine, don't freak out. Um, you'll soon see that we can definitely handle this. So um, the key uh, to solving this problem is uh, preparing the graph correctly. And the way we're going to do it, we know we have n equals 4. And how many nodes are we going to have? That's a very important um, info to have. We know that nodes, um, the formula for getting nodes is n minus 1. Our n is 4, therefore 4 minus 1 equals 3. We're going to have 3 nodes. Nodes are where psi squared is 0. This is what nodes are. And nodes are going to be the places where, um, where y equals 0 where the graph touches the x-axis and we're gonna see it in just a moment okay so um, we're gonna have three nodes so one two three one two three this is not a node we have a wall here um, and the electron, the electron is somewhere inside, and we're trying to figure out what are our chances of finding that electron in a specific point. Um, but we know the electron cannot escape the box. So now let's try to, to label the x-axis. The x-axis, I'm sorry, I'm in the bottom, but the x-axis is, is the length, the length of the box. Okay, so the end is always going to be L. And in this case, since our n is 4, the L is 4 over 4L equals L, because 4 and 4 just cancels out. And if we, divided, if we divide 4L by 4 in half, this is going to be 2L divided by 4. Therefore, this is going to be 1L divided by 4, and this is going to be 3L divided by 4. Okay, so that's it, voila, that's our graph. Now, um, going back to the question, we want to figure out what's the psi squared, or chances of finding an electron is, uh, is the same as psi squared. What is the psi squared at L over 2? Well, although it seems like we don't have L over 2 in the graph, if you do simple math, you see that um, 2 divided by 4 is half. Therefore, this is going to be half L. So this is our point, which is, um, surprisingly, is a node. And, like we said before, at node, our psi squared, our probability to find an electron is 0. So the answer for this question is 0. Now the second um, question, what is the probability of finding an electron between 0 and L um, divided by 16? Again, we, we can't find L divided by 16 in this graph. But if we utilize some basic math, we can figure out um, what is L over 16. L, L over 16 is going to be a small number, so we know it's going to be somewhere in here. Uh, 1 over 16 is smaller um, than half, right? And this is half. This is half. So we know it's going to be to the left of here. Well, 
1 over 16, is that bigger or smaller than 1 fourth? That is, again, smaller than 1 fourth. As a matter of fact, 1 over 16 is half of 1 over 4th. So, if we half this heel, we find that this is 1L over 16. So, they want to know what's the probability of finding an electron in this area. Well, to solve this, we want to know what's the probability of finding an electron at 1 over 4, and then just divide this by 2. Well, um, as we said before, the chances of finding the electron in the whole box is 100%. So, and we have four equal heels. I know it doesn't seem like they're equal, but they are. It's just my drawing. Um, they are totally equal. So 100 divided by 4 equals 25%. So the chance of, of finding um, the electron here in this whole region, let's mark it with yellow, 25%. So the chances of finding the electron at 1 over 16 would be 25% divided by 2. which is going to be 12.5%. Um, if your teacher w doesn't want this in percentage, but they want it in, uh, in actual number, you just need to divide this by 100. Um, and dividing this by 1 is going to be 0, 1, 25. But essentially, writing either or, is correct. So this is how you solve a particle in a box problem for n equals 4.